Hello, dear friends. Uh, welcome to another lecture of uh, mechanical vibration. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Vincham Javankar, and I'll teach you something about the mechanical vibration, engineering application of uh, mechanical vibration and noise. So let's start uh, today's uh, lecture. Uh, as you can see that uh, this subject is uh, very much helpful in the industries. Uh, uh, so we have to discuss the applications of mechanical vibration and noise. So the first application of mechanical vibration is it is beneficial. Uh, beneficial application of vibration includes ultrasonic props, both for medical application and for non destructive testing. So, uh, for medical application and non destructive testing, in which we are not uh, uh, destroying the things uh, permanently. It uh, can be reused. So, in these kind of testing, we can use the uh, vibration. So, this is the application of vibration in the non destructive testing. Uh, the second uh, use of uh, the second application of mechanical vibration is precision machinery. Uh, that is, it is essential to isolate electronic uh, electron microscope from vibration. So, before uh, Doing the, the uh, before uh, stopping the work uh, of uh, machinery, we want to uh, precisely uh, take help of uh, any machine. So we have to use uh, apply the theorems of vibration. We have to separate the vibration to get the precision handling. From a machine. The next application musical instruments and uh, loudspeakers are a second example of a system which uh, put vibration to good use. So, all the musical instruments uh, without vibration they are not, uh, in, uh, not used. So, this is the application of mechanical vibration. As well as uh, in case of loudspeaker, we want to uh, Spread the voice from one place to uh, another place. So, for that particular, we are using loudspeakers, and loudspeakers are also work on the principle of vibration. So, this is again the application of mechanical vibration in noise. Now, most mechanical clocks uh, use vibration to measure time. So, as you already know, in the mechanical clocks, uh, there are effects of gears and keys. Uh, Mechanical vibration gives the time of different sounds. Uh, ultrasound, uh, ultrasound is also used to detect cracks in your parts and structures. So, in uh, uh, aircrafts and structures, uh, there are some cracks. To detect these cracks, we go for ultrasound testing. The next application of mechanical vibration is vehicle suspension system. In vehicle suspension system, uh, we have to uh, eliminate the vibration which is coming from the road to the passenger or to the goods. So this is again the application of mechanical vibration. Now application in feeding, conveying, cooling, drying, agglomeration, or instantization and moving. So these are some of the processes in which we are using the vibration. System identical, system identification. Suppose there is a mechanical system and you want to calculate the mass, damping, thickness, etc. of the system, you can do all that with the help of vibration. So in a mechanical system, to calculate, uh, to find out some values, Vibration. So this is again a vibration. application of vibration. Now, in the case of automobiles, during the design phase of an automobile, the mechanical component should be designed such that it does not match with the vibration generated by the engine or road acceleration. So, uh, while we are designing, uh, while we we'll go for the design of an automobile, supposed to be a two wheeler. We want to eliminate uh, the vibration, uh, the natural frequency which is coming from the road 
and the vibration which is coming is generated due to the engine, due to the inventor piston, due to the rotation of the wheel, due to the tension uh, value on the board. Uh, we, uh, we focus on the things that uh, the frequency which has been generated by the uh, system, the, the two wheeler cannot match with the natural frequency of the vehicle so this can uh, run in a lab uh, where the artificial uh, intelligence can work and uh, we will find that the natural frequency will not be equal to the frequency generated by the system so this is again the application of the uh, operation uh, the last but not the least Mechanical vibration are used for process of uh, sieving. Uh, some industries use to filter their raw materials and then use the sieve. And using a mechanical sieve is better than manual work, and it's uh, less time-consuming. Mechanical sieve works using wood. So many industries uh, mechanical sieves are using uh, instead of mechanical vibration. So this is again an application of mechanical. So in this lecture, we have discussed the uh, we have already discussed the uh, some of the applications of mechanical vibration and noise. Uh, although there are more uh, many examples of mechanical vibration, but I have uh, uh, taken few examples which is uh, related with the engineering stream. So I think you understand the application of uh, mechanical vibration by this lecture.